praise the Lord. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. And I hope this video finds you well. My name is Samuel E. Molombe, and I'm the man that God uses. I welcome you on this platform in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Hallelujah. Family, if you are seeing me for the very first time or you're clicking through for the very first time on this channel, I want to take a moment and welcome you. Thank you so much for making that amazing spirit-led decision to click to it for this video thank you so much i'm excited to connect with you and i believe that god will do you good as you connect to this ministry in jesus name and for you that is my family the iron generation all around the world i want to thank god for you and i'm praying and believing god that this prophetic word like many others will work in your life like fire will produce the results and the testimonies that is promised therein in jesus christ's name amen i want to welcome you officially to the month of february and the lord is giving me amazing vibes very good 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 feeling about the month of february and it's getting me excited and i I want to share with you the prophetic word that God spoke to me about February and what I saw coming for the month of February. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But before I get into it, would you mind giving me a second and let's take a moment of prayer. Let's just bow our head and just pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your beloved son or daughter that is at the other side watching me right now. I pray in the name of Jesus that this word will bring light and understanding to their hearts in Jesus Christ's name. I declare by the power in the name of Jesus that this word will produce the miracles that it talks about in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm excited in my spirit. As I was praying for the month of February, the Lord took me to Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1. I know, I know it's a very popular scripture. You um, are just mentioning it. If you have been a Christian, you should know it. But let me just read it. Verse 1. It says, Arise and shine, for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Can I say it again? Arise and shine, for the light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. And the Lord also took me to Malachi chapter 4, verse 2. Malachi chapter 4, verse 2. It says, But unto you that fear my name, listen to this, shall the Son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and you shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. Glory to God. And one more verse that the Lord showed me, Malachi chapter 3 and verse 16. Malachi chapter 3 and verse 16, he says, Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it. And the book of the remembrance were, was written before him, for them that feared the Lord, and that thought upon his name. This is the word of the Lord to you. And God says that you have entered into a new season in the month of February. And this is the month where the mantle will speak for you. Glory to God. What is the mantle? The mantle is the anointing that is upon a man by impartation or by, by you know, servitude, by service. Uh, the mantle is the special spiritual coding that comes upon a man by service, by impartation, by grace, whatever the means. The Lord is saying in simple terms that this is the month where you will see the hand of God manifest in your life like never before. Now, the guarantee is that God has already put this in you. And it's not going to shine. You're not going to shine from a foreign source. You're going to shine from within you. You're going to shine from the wealth of the, of the anointing that God has invested in you. Hallelujah. God is saying in the month of February very clearly, there are five things that God is saying in the month of February. Number one, this is your month for the revealing what is going to be revealed? The uniqueness that is in the inside of you. Your difference will be revealed. Now, a lot of you are in places where your difference is not appreciated. They want you to be someone else. They want you to be some, I mean, like, to be everybody else. You, are, you have the good things that God has put in you. The uniqueness that God has put in you. It's not being celebrated because you are trying to fit. You are trying to 
fit in a place that probably God did not even plant you. The Lord says in the month of February, people are going to begin to celebrate your difference. You know why? Because they will need it. They will need that extra flair that only you can give it. Hallelujah. They will need that that solution that is already embedded in you. So this is the month of the revealing. God is going to reveal you by the anointing. God is going to reveal you by the anointing. The special gifts and graces that reside in your spirit will be manifest for the world to see. I am excited because this especially speaks to the ones that have been, have been anointed. You have a special anointing. You have a call. You have a gift. You have, you have an, an impartation. Something that has been lying dormant within you. God is saying he will bring men from everywhere to come and drink from that well. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The second thing that the Lord says for the month of February is that the month of February is your month for answers. Look at it here in Malachi chapter 3 verse 16. It says, then they that feared the Lord speak often one to another and the Lord hearkened. In First Chronicles, uh, First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9, the Bible says Jabez was more honorable than his brethren, but his mother called him Jabez because, he bore, because she bore him in pain. But in verse 10, the Bible says, And Jabez called to the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou would bless me, and you do you bless me indeed, and keep me from evil, and enlarge my coast, you know, and keep me from causing pain. And the Bible says, And God heard him. The beauty of prayer is answers. The beauty of your prayer is the answer. When you pray and the answers come, you want to pray again. The Lord sent me to tell you as his prophetic voice unto you that in the month of February, before you pray, the answer will be waiting for you. Oh, hallelujah. I am excited about this word because I am claiming it for myself before I even release it to you. Before you open your mouth and cry to God, he will hear you. In the, in, in the, the Bible tells us in the Gospels when Jesus Christ was confronted with the dead Lazarus. He lifted up his hands and he says, Father, I thank you. Jesus was praying in the tomb of Lazarus. He says, Father, I thank you because you always hear me. Father, I thank you because you always hear me. And just so you know, you are exactly like Jesus to God. Yes, you are in the similitude of Jesus to God. You are pleasing to, to God like Jesus is pleasing to God. So if G God hears Jesus, God definitely hears you. So the Lord says this is the month where your prayers are going to be receiving speedy answers in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. I'm excited about this. And number three, the Lord says, in the month of February, the sun of righteousness will arise over you. You know, sun, now it's not S-O-N, it's S-U-N, the sun of righteousness will arise over you. Now, by the way, just in case you did not know, if the sun stops to shine over our planet, many things are going to die. Because this planet is run by light. And the sun produces the light that this planet walks by. Photosynthesis, that process cannot happen if there's no, because if there's no light. Because plants manufacture their food in the sunlight. Hallelujah. The same for human body. You need that light. You need the light. You need a certain portion of the light that comes from the sun to be able to keep you healthy. The Bible says that sun will rise over you. <laughs> that sun will rise over you. And guess what it's going to do? It's going to bring healing to your body. It's going to bring healing to your finances. It's going to bring healing to your mind. It's going to bring healing to your business, to your marriage. There is somebody you are almost at the verge of the breakup. God is going to bring healing to that relationship if you want it to be so. In the name of Jesus. It is a month that I am anticipating to see. I'm anticipating to walk through all these 28 days. And the last but not the least, the Lord says, every day as there is a scheduled miracle. There is a scheduled miracle for every day. Family, there is a scheduled miracle for every day. Monday to Sunday, 1st to the 28th of February. 
in the name of Jesus. Would you mind allowing me anoint to you and pray for you right now and to activate the mantle over my life, over you, and to bring forth testimonies and miracles by that mantle? Would you let me pray for you right now? Let's pray in Jesus' name. Father, I dedicate the month of February for the lifting of your child that is watching me now. I dedicate the month of February for the elevation and expansion of your child that is watching me now. In the name of Jesus, I speak let the anointing that was on this altar the anointing from this altar let it bet the miracles that it desires let it bet the miracles that she desires in the name of jesus i release the blessings of god upon you the lord calls you blessed you are too blessed to be cursed in jesus name amen now god bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine on you and the lord be gracious to you in jesus name amen Please, family, if you have not subscribed to this channel, you need to subscribe right now. Do us that favor and do yourself the favor of subscribing right now. Hallelujah. You need to do it. Ring the notification bell when you do. And let me know what the Lord is doing in your life through these videos. I love you so much. And I will see you at the top. Shalom.